Hey guys, how are you? Welcome back to our favourite show. My name's Angelina and today I'm just going to be showing you my go-to makeup look. So for primer, I've been trying the Nivea Men Sensitive Post Shave Balm. People have been raving about this product so I thought I might test it out. And so far so good, I've been really enjoying it. Um, I'm still getting a feel for it but I'll let you know how I go. Then for foundation, I'm mixing two, the Ready Set Gorgeous Foundation in 210 and then the Maybelline Fit Me in 220. And I'm just buffing this all over my face with a Real Techniques sculpting brush. I'm just combing through my brows, getting any foundation I got in there out and just combing them into place here, just with the spoolie. I just like to take the T by Terry Hyaluronic Hydro Powder just to set some of my fine lines around my face, just baking a little bit. Um, this powder is so good because it is so fine. Um, I've been really enjoying it lately. And then to fill in my brows, I'm taking the Anastasia Dip Brow in dark brown and just filling in any sparse areas and just making my brows look a little bit more put together. Don't forget to brush through your brows afterwards so there are no harsh lines and just blend the product through. And then for concealer, I'm taking the IT Cosmetics Bye Bye Under Eye in the shade Tan. I'm just stabbing a little bit amount underneath my eyes and just passing it in with my finger. I find with my finger I get the best from this product. And then taking my much loved e.l.f. Full Coverage Concealer Palette. I love this stuff. It is so affordable. If you have not tried it, go, go and get it. It is the best. I'm just taking the two lighter shades from the palette and just highlighting a little bit my face. And then I'm just taking a flat kabuki and just blending that all in. To set underneath my eyes, I'm just putting the AC on tour banana shade and the shade above it, not the shimmery one, the other matte shade and just pressing that underneath my eyes and wherever I highlighted. And then to set the rest of my face, I'm taking MAC Studio Fix in the shade NC40. I know this is a powder foundation, but I absolutely love it to set my face. Um, I don't use a lot either, just very small amounts. I love the coverage, I love the, the colour of it. Um, it's just really good, but I don't use a lot. And then moving on to the eyes, I've been loving the Too Faced Semi Sweet Chocolate Palette lately especially this color nougat. Um, I just love putting this into my crease. It's just a really good transition color. After blending nougat into the crease, I just took a little bit of mousse just with the same uh, brush and just focusing that on the outer corner. Um, I am bringing that into the crease as well but just mainly focusing that on the outer corner. I um, didn't put a lot of eyeshadow on, I usually don't. I just put nougat on and then just a deeper, warmer colour and that's about it for every day. Uh, moving to mascara, I like to use two. I use a T by Terry Growth Booster, just a very thin amount first. And then at the moment I've been loving the CoverGirl the super size of mascara. I love the brush. It's just really good mascara. But I do take the T by Terry first. Um, it kind of acts like a primer and I've just been really loving that. And then to warm up the face, I've been also loving this product, the Maybelline Dream Sun Bronzer. It is a golden bronzer, but um, I really like how it's not super pigmented and it's very, very, very buildable so you can get the desired bronzed look you want. I've been really loving this bronzer. I 
I'm not going to contour too much. Um, I just put whatever's really left on my brush and I just run it down the sides of my nose. But just mainly bronzing. I don't really contour that much. Then moving on to highlighter, I've been loving the Becca highlighter in Champagne Pop by Jaclyn Hill. If you haven't heard about this stuff, where have you been? Um, it is so pigmented, so nice. I think it would work for anyone to be honest. Just loving this highlighter at the moment. So I'm just highlighting the top of my cheekbones, down my nose. I've been loving highlighting the tip of my nose especially. And then just taking the littlest bit underneath the brow bone. Then for blush, I change blush every day. But I felt like Rockator by Benefit. Um, and I just put this in between my bronzer and highlighter. Just up the cheekbone. I do put a little bit on the apples. But I mainly put it up the cheekbones. Um, I guess everyone to their preference whether they like putting blush. But that's what I kind of do. And then I didn't do this before, but I'm just coating my bottom lashes with the CoverGirl Super Sizer um, Mascara. Just the same one as I used for the top lashes. Then for lips, I'm taking the Chi Chi Lip Liner in It's Girl. Just a neutral lip liner to outline my lips. And then taking the ColourPop Nude Lipstick in Cheeks. Just a really nice go-to lip colour and just coating my lips. And then I put a little bit of gloss on because my lips were looking a bit dry. So that's the finished look. This is what I tend to do just when I'm heading to the shops or just heading out. I hope you enjoyed this video guys. If you did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Uh, leave me down a comment down below also and make sure to subscribe because I do upload twice a week. I hope you're having an amazing day guys. Take care. Bye.